All right, today's a quick one. It's supposed to be the big one, but um, since I got the quest, I want <laughs> I want to deal with it. Okay, uh, the uh, despite my my recommendation yesterday, um, I thought, gosh darn it, there you can get them for a better price. The the uh, particularly the the Dell G five. Um, uh, double AMD combo, so it comes with the um, the Ryzen um, uh, 4600, or you can get it with the 4800 as well. And then it also has the RX 5600, and it's good value in terms in terms of performance. The RX uh, 5600 is uh, just a not notch above um, the GTX. 1660 Ti. Thank you, Nvidia, with your nonsense names. Anyway, um, but when it comes to driver compatibility and, and having the least amount of driver issues, I've just over the past few decades, I've much preferred Nvidia's drivers. So I was figuring I was going to run into an issue, and especially since this is day one or actually day two. Um, uh, so yeah, I plugged it into the Dell G5 and I just get a blank screen. Uh, and apparently people were having this issue with the, um, the original uh, Quest and it seems to be more prevalent on AMD cards, uh, although on Oculus's um, help site, apparently there's specific um, uh, Nvidia cards that they're having problems too. And it, even though the RX uh, 5600 is plenty enough uh, to run it, it says, as well as the CPU and whatnot, um, it says, oh, doesn't meet minimum uh, recommendations. So right now I'm waiting to for Oculus to get back to me um, with my support request. Uh, so hopefully this gets working because I also looked into the because I mentioned in the previous video about uh, NVIDIA having some specific video technology, like they have a better video encoder. Um, that would basically be the only thing that would be beneficial at the point, at this current moment. Because um, it looks like DLSS and any use of the, the RTX cores is largely moot. Uh, right now it's not being used. Uh, the other thing that's interesting, we'll see if it's going to be used once um, Wi-Fi 6E routers come out, is the, I think it's the XR2 chipset in the Quest 2 supports Wi-Fi 6E, I think, from what I understand. So, if so, that might make uh, true wireless connectivity through your router an option. Uh, so not having to depend on a link cable, which would be stinking awesome um, if that uh, if they enable that. Uh, but anyway, as it stands right now, I'm having problems with the this current combination. So hopefully, because that would be a good if this works, uh, and then once I demo it, um, it goes smoothly. This will probably be my go-to. Um, a laptop because it fits within the budget. I don't want to um, spend much more than a grand on a laptop uh, per station in the hospital because uh, already um, I'm gonna have to replace the the band because uh, uh, where is it? Where did I put the? Because it just uh, this band is too, for lack of a better term, fabricy. So it's going to pick up all kinds of gunk. It's it's not going to be good to, to clean. Um, so I need something that can be easily cleaned. And with the, the material on that, the, the fancier headband, <sighs> which is going to significantly raise the cost of the of these units. I think they're I think it's like fifty bucks or hundred bucks um, for the upgraded uh, headband on these guys. Um, to make them easier to clean and also you don't have to like this you gotta 
play with to adjust. So I can imagine putting on different heads, having to adjust every time instead of just having a little dial. So, so learning some things that are going to have to be purchased for uh, this project. But anyway, moving on. Uh, I already hinted at this last time about uh, with uh, my experience with uh, uh, Beat Saber, but uh, now it, it's coming out. There's some <laughs> the the worst case scenario, what some people had already feared, has now come to pass. Uh, is uh, some people are losing access to their purchases now that their oculus account is being synced with facebook and if you run amok of facebook standards now they will block you from um, accessing your library so really um this drives home the point of you um you want to make sure your licenses are attached to a uh, a third party store so valve has spent a long time proving themselves I don't think there's been very many cases of people that have lost complete access to their library. Um, they might lose access or, or at least multiplayer access to certain games in their library if they're caught cheating, but, or whether it's, it's, it's a false accusation or um, it's real, um, that would be insane to, for example, if, if someone uh, cheated on one game should they be banned from that game sure but for them to lose access to a decade worth of purchases in a store um, that would be absurd so from my knowledge steam hasn't done that whereas facebook um we've already seen their um their censorship at play and so running amok of facebook standards what oh okay you bought you know 300 dollars worth of vr software oh no um you lost access to it that, that's that's nightmare scenario and here we are uh so do not buy uh, facebook has to prove themselves do, so at this moment do not buy anything through the oculus store um they 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 cook their own goose with this um, get just buy stuff through Steam, and if they try to make exclusives, well, tough luck. They need to learn their um, learn their lesson the hard way. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. So I mentioned with uh, in the my big kind of passion project with the Nvidia history. Uh, the issues that they would have with this 3000 series and so we're seeing this play out now um with but it's i was focused more on the chips whereas nvidia right now is having an issue with the entire supply line so it's it's not just that they're having manufacturing issues with the with the chips um is that they can't even do a volume product right now so I don't I think the the major reason why they're pushing back the the, um, the 3070 is not just because of uh, a reactionary measure to AMD but they're having problems securing the boards for their uh, yeah, for their um, reference or not the whatever they call their um, Founders Edition, and um, so if if they can't get the boards, then there's nothing to put the chips on. Plus, you got the whole assembly cooler and all that, and so much. Uh, there's so much trouble with trade with China right now, um, trying to shift the whole supply line around. And plus, with everything I'm, I've been talking about the last number of months, um, this is a global issue. Uh, so. Right now, there's there's only been talk of a uh, a GTX, uh, sorry, an RTX 3060 Ti, which would be a cut down um, 3070, which 
I would mention that I was I was concerned about because that means that um, it instead of being the uh, releasing a 3060 that is um, its own um, separate silicon own separate uh, skew with um, that's cut down in order to meet a price point instead they're taking the the 3070 chips and uh, and trying to bring them down to a price point, they're not not likely going to be significantly below uh, 400. So that was my concern. It looks like that's going to be the case, but it's only going to be uh, the problem. Um, it's only going to be more severe because of uh, uh, supply line issues. And so e even with the limited SKUs already out there, with the the, the 3080 and the 3090. Um, they can't even supply those um, and it's not just chips but the boards as well so and they're saying that's being pushed back to 2021 for additional inventory so <laughs> who knows when uh, if or when we will see a, uh, a 3060 or 3060 Ti for a, any reasonable price so oh, which sucks because I like to see AMD and NVIDIA put that for each other. And uh, competition is good. So I think that's it for today. Um, on, I, I'm going to push back the, the, um, the, like the behind the scenes Jesuit thing until probably Monday. There's, there keeps coming out more material, more um, articles, more videos. And it, keeps making me rewrite my notes or, or make additions, shift things around. Uh, so hopefully I'll have something I'm, I'm happy with that's a, like a nice clear string of thought uh, by Monday. Um, there's so much good good material, but I can't include it all, so I'm going to have to truncate a lot of it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for net. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you guys next week, and hopefully I'll Meet up with some of you this weekend in VR chat. All right, good night.